1969, Israeli Prime Minister Golda Meir made headlines with this comment. There is no such thing as the Palestinian people. It's not as if we came and threw them out and took their country. They didn't exist. Golda's statement was controversial, but as it turned out, many Arab leaders and historians agreed with her. In 1937, Arab leader Ani Abdul Hadi made this statement to the British Peel Commission. There is no such country as Palestine. Palestine is a term the Zionists invented. There is no Palestine in the Bible. Palestine is alien to us. Nearly a decade later, Arab historian Philip Hitty agreed. In his testimony to the Anglo-American Committee, there is no such thing as Palestine in history. Absolutely not. In 1956, a Saudi representative to the UN stated, it is common knowledge that Palestine is nothing but southern Syria. And more recently, Syrian dictator Hafez al-Assad gave this lecture to PLO leader Yasser Arafat. Never forget this one point. There is no such thing as a Palestinian people. There is no Palestinian entity. Palestine is an integral part of Syria. Muslims believe that once they claim a piece of land, it belongs to Islam forever. Still, at the beginning of the 20th century, Islamic leaders acknowledged the Temple Mount's Jewish history. In 1924, Jerusalem's Supreme Islamic Council published this tourist pamphlet on the Temple Mount. It says the site's identity with the site of Solomon's Temple is beyond dispute. This, too, is the spot, according to the universal belief, on which David built there an altar unto the Lord. The pamphlet also describes the underground chamber the Crusaders called Solomon's Stables. It dates probably as far back as the construction of Solomon's Temple. In 1927, a strong earthquake damaged the mosque, and during renovations, Archaeologists analyzed the structure. They found beams made from cedar of Lebanon and Cyprus, dating as far back as the 9th century BC, around the time of King Solomon, who had used those very materials to build the first Jewish temple. The excavations also uncovered a Jewish ritual bath from the second temple, and a mosaic believed to be part of a Byzantine church.